We just finished. What is Greaves disease? What is Greaves disease? Somebody who may just in few words explain. Oh, ma'am, it's an immune system a disorder. There is overproduction of thyroid hormone. According to what? What's the reason of this out uh, of this overproduction? What type of antibodies produced? Tabinda, hmm? what types of antibodies? What's the name of these antibodies? Mom, thyrotropin receptor antibody. Okay, thyrotropin receptor antibody. Good. So when we treat grave disease after mm, surgery, what do we expect to see? What happened with thyroid function? What do you expect to see? Thyroid ablation or surgery? What situation? Goiter, ma'am, goiter. After, after, after surgery on gray, on thyroid gland or after ablation, what do you expect to see? After surgery or after thyroid ablation? Hmm? No, think what? So, any thoughts? Sanjo, uh, mean any thoughts? What do you uh, expect to see? Hyperfunction of metabolism and growth. Okay, as hyperfunction, hyperfunction. Uh, after I when when we use why iodine insufficiency thyroid gland hormone insufficiency why no, iodine so there will be maybe sometimes there will be permanent hypothyroidism or permanent hypoparathyroidism okay so yes yes really if especially after surgery if uh, uh, remember I told you that we should do Total thyroidectomy, so it means to remove fully all thyroid gland. So who of you want to be surgeries? If you decide to go to surgery and you want to be a surgery, uh, you will see people with thyroid disorders. Where if we do surgery, we usually remove fully thyroid gland. Of course, after that treatment, patients will have opposite condition, hypothyroidism. Hypo. That's it. <clears throat> well, so, but, but, hypothyroidism among all, I will turn off uh, my video to, for better connection. Uh, hypothyroidism for among all endocrine disorders is the most common disease. It is most prevalent. It is uh, at the same level as diabetes mellitus. As spread it as diabetes, hypothyroidism, very uh, spread it condition. Uh, every year when we discuss this topic, we usually uh, examine each other on the classes. We palpate thyroid gland. I explain how to do palpation, what examination you can do. And it happens that uh, every year, one or two people uh, possible to find students with hypothyroidism in university because, as I said, really it's a, a very spread situation. But but don't think that hypothyroidism is always reason. The reason of hypo it's not always a surgery. Uh, thyroid gland secretes two hormones, T4 and T3. I mean, now I speak about. Cells. I do not speak about parafollicular cells. Uh, this lecture I will read you at Friday about hypoparathyroidism and hyperparathyroidism. So T3 and T4. These hormones, they regulate metabolism. Uh, hypothyroidism, it is a syndrome which develops due to the hormone, thyroid 
hormone deficiency means there are no thyroid enough secretion of thyroid hormones. How it is classified? That is, please remember, according to this, we'll put diagnosis. Type A, primary hypothyroidism. So primary hypothyroidism, uh, it is uh, classified uh, uh, in this way because there is a problem in thyroid gland. Look for the all reasons. Number one, destruction or lack of functionally active tissue of the thyroid gland. So there is no tissue of thyroid gland or there is destruction of the cells of thyroid gland. When it may happen? Look, chronic autoimmune thyroiditis or another name of this disease, Hashimoto thyroiditis. It's the most common reason. Then surgical removal of the thyroid gland. Radioactive treatment by 131 iodine. Hypothyroidism in subacute thyroiditis. Previous lecture, I told you that in subacute thyroiditis, you may see thyrotoxicosis. In this condition, present two situations. At the beginning, people have thyrotoxicosis, then it transforms to hypothyroidism. And agenesis <coughs> and thyroid gland dysgenesis. It was your uh, congenital, uh, so it, 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 you also know this condition as a congenital hypothyroidism according to your pediatrics and endocrinology classes. Number two, disturbance of thyroid hormone synthesis. It could be congenital defect of biosynthesis. Severe iodine deficiency, severe, very severe. Now it's a real situation because iodine deficiency uh, in the most of the countries uh, uh, now it's not a problem at all because we use iodinated salt. Some medications, drug or toxic uh, uh, agents. Look at the right part, B. Central, hypothalamic pituitary hypothyroidism. Uh, lack of TSH secretion. So low level of TSH secretion or thyroid, ribbing, uh, thyroid uh, liberating hormone. When it may happen, if it is tumor of pituitary or hypothalamic area, trauma of pituitary, some vascular disorders, ischemia or hemorrhage of pituitary, infiltration of
So excuse me, sometimes my computer accidentally turn off. So Okay, is it do you see my screen? Yes, ma'am. Okay, so let's continue. So primary secondary don't mix. Primary, it's a thyroid problem. Secondary, it is pituitary problem. In primary, look here, in pri you will see uh, in all types of hypo, hypothyroidism means low thyroid hormones, low T4, low T3, as in primary, as in secondary. In primary, there is one difference. TSH will be high, in secondary, TSH will be low. This is the big difference. You have many questions in your course exams. You have many questions in your MCQs. And uh, according to that, uh, changes in the pituitary uh, thyroid regulation. So please do not make mistake uh, what is what in primary and in secondary. Causes. Once again, causes the most common cause, it is the Hashimoto thyroiditis, most common cause. Uh, and uh, if you search among your classmates, maybe some your relatives, maybe some um, friends, uh, et cetera, et cetera, I swear you may find few people with hypothyroidism because uh, this disease is spread especially among women. So more a lot of uh, most of the thyroid disorders are more spread among women because there is a strong connection with pregnancies. In pregnancy, function of thyroid gland should be perfect, and uh, iodine uh, also level uh, should be higher in pregnancy, and uh, menstrual regulation because thyroid gland also play play the role in menstrual reg regulation, and uh, you may see some changes during the uh, menstrual cycle. But in men also, sometimes these conditions are uh, available, so don't think that it is only women disease. Pathogenesis. <laughs> Everything opposite to Graves' disease. Everything absolutely opposite. Low metabolism. Hypothyroidism will provoke low metabolism. Uh, elevation of cholesterol. Uh, inflammation in tissues. Uh, elevation of TSH for this primary, uh, loss of uh, so uh, obesity, increase of uh, uh, edema, it's also called mixed edema, apathy, slow mental function. If in Greece it was a typic behavior, quickly movement, quick, quick speech, here everything opposite. Slow movement, slow speech, uh, slow poor memory, always want to sleep, dry skin, dry mouth, uh, itching, uh, problem with menstrual function, very common cause. And usually, usually, you, the first doctor to whom these people go is a gynecologist. Uh, fertility problems, various types of menstrual dysfunction, that is could be hypothyroidism. Problem with hair, hair loss, uh, thinning of hair, thinning of nails, elevation of prolactin. You see what's the reason, hyperprolactinemia. Prolactin production, it is also stimulated by thyroid release hormone. When the level of TSH increased, the level of prolactin is also increased. Prolactin suppress LH, FSH, and testosterone. So in men, you will see symptom of uh, erectile dysfunction. Uh, in, uh, so what uh, clinical general symptoms include, you see here, uh, bradycardia, cold intolerance, weight gain, constipation, uh, hoarse voice, difficult in articulation was to difficult in pronouncing ones due to the myxedema of tongue, uh, galacteria in women, impaired cognition, hypertension, 
maybe goiter, but goiter is not a specific symptom. So symptoms are known classical symptoms may imitate other disorders. Uh, mistakenly, you can uh, misdiagnose, so you can uh, put incorrect diagnosis if, with the such diseases like anemia, like vitamin D deficiency, like uh, some other internal medicine disorders, like heart diseases, uh, atherosclerosis, ischemic heart disease. In all these patients, we all, we need to check if you see that people with such diseases, you should examine their uh, thyroid function. Because hypothyroidism, people may live with this disease for many years, but unfortunately, it provoke uh, early uh, aging. Patients will have earlier heart problems, uh, bowel problems, uh, hair loss, uh, they always feel tired, they also have problems with memory. So if you have problems with memory, check free lab test, TSH, CBC, and vitamin D. So, arthritis due to the mixed edema, uh, fatigue, depression, brittle names, dry hair, infertility. Uh, just a few words about congenital hypothyroidism. Uh, as I said, congenital hypothyroidism may develop in population, especially among uh, one in two, four thousand newborns. Uh, it may develop in a population, uh, especially in countries with iodine deficiency, and usually it is a, a genesis of thyroid gland. Uh, so. Uh, what should we do? Uh, we should do screening the first or second day of after delivery uh, for these child's screening for hypothyroidism. So neonatal screening program should work in all countries. This is photo because for adult people, uh, when we start treatment of hypothyroidism in adults, you will see normalizing of the all function. If we lost time and we will not start treatment of hypothyroidism in childhood, unfortunately, especially before first year, uh, sorry, first month of child uh, life, uh, it will provoke uh, severe anomaly of brain development and. Uh, Unfortunately, it will not uh, normalize if we start treatment uh, late time. I mean, after first uh, month of uh, of both after uh, of of the life of the child. Uh, so that's why. Please uh, remember about congenital hypothyroidism. Maybe if you start working in obstetrics gynecology uh, departments, uh, you will work with such childs. Uh, uh, do a screening and tal screening of congenital hypothyroidism. Because thyroid hormones uh, are the most important hormones uh, in uh, stimulation of uh, brain activity and brain differentiation in children at the first three years of life. Uh, after third, after after third year of life, uh, another hormones also play important role, like uh, growth hormone, like insulin, like uh, honate hormones. But before uh, before this period, uh, especially first year of life, first six months of life. Uh, thyroid hormones are most important. So in this picture, you see woman with mixed edema, and uh, so this uh, uh, mixed edema, as I said, it is not classical. Uh, it is uh, interesting to compare people before and after treatment. So in the left picture, you see the woman before treatment, in the right picture, woman after treatment. So if you compare the photos of these people, you will see big difference. Uh, this myxedema will disappear, uh, weight loss will present. Uh, so uh, these people, they also have specific color of the skin uh, because due to the hypothyroidism, they have a, a low metabolizer of carotene, uh, carotene uh, related vitamin A, accumulated carotene, and uh, provoke uh, yellow pale color. 
macroglossia. Uh, macroglossia, it's an enlargement of tongue due to the edema of tongue, mixed edema of tongue, and problem in articulation. Uh, elevation of formation of uh, uh, lipid skin, as you see in picture, the symptom called xanthomas or xanthelasma. It's the first symptom of atherosclerosis. So what is atherosclerosis? It's a formation of atherosclerotic clots in the vessels, and of course, uh, these clots may provoke uh, ischemic heart disease, cerebral vascular disease, peripheral vascular disease in the young age, in the earlier age. Uh, on uh, feet, you may see non-pitting edema, we call it solid edema, due to the mixed edema, accumulation of specific proteins in subcutaneous tissues, glycosamina, glycans, uh, this, it, this is a specific edema, in only in hypothyroidism possible to see it. So, as I said, carotene me accumulation of protein, high skin with yellow color and uh, girl face, uh, big changes you may see. In severe cases, severe case, edema may uh, present in uh, peripheral, sorry, in uh, internal organs, in cavities, like in, uh, like in lungs, in heart and abdominal cavity. It could be pleural infusion, heart infusions. Here you see pericardi pericardial, it's not pericardial, it's just a pericardial infusion in patients with prolonged and severe hypothyroidism. Uh, of course, you need to start with physical exam, T point bodies and TSH level. As I say, TSH increased 